It's live, it's raw, and lots of fun. The closing of Singapore Dance Week 2011 showcased various dance forms by professionals as well as students on the streets of Orchard Road. There was Chinese dance, traditional Indian dance, Bollywood dance, hip-hop, and Malay dance. The intricate designs of the costume and traditional Muslim music added to the mood of traditional Malay dance moves. The music may be slow and graceful, but the dance steps take lots of practice. For the Malay item that we perform, uh, actually it takes six months for me to prepare because of uh, it more of the symbolic of Malay traditional culture. So we have to be very careful of the certain certain aspects that we need to portray so that people will know more on the Malay dance culture itself. I do plan the dance move uh, according to the Malay culture because our Malay culture got uh, so many, many uh, rules and regulations that we need to follow. So whatever we do normally at home, uh, we brought it into the dance so people will understand more and appreciate more of the Malay dance culture itself. On the other hand, something that doesn't include traditional culture would be the well-liked hip-hop dance which has evolved from, well, hip-hop culture. Hip-hop dance has been around for more than 30 years and is still popular now. We kind of actually came out in the move in about two months, but we practiced about only two weeks for this performance itself. So. For this, it's actually quite simple, so I don't really find it difficult. I think the most difficult is the positioning. <laughs> yeah, we tend to go out of place. Sure, it's not easy, but dance is meant for everyone, said the organisers of Singapore Dance Week. The motto of Singapore Dance Week is that dance is for everyone, that in everyone there is this fundamental urge to dance, and really Singapore Dance Week celebrates that urge in every human being. So put on your dancing shoes and jump right in. <laughs> <laughs>